The EPA water map on catchments.ie allows you to learn more about water quality in your local area. Navigating the water maps. The theme toolbar along the top of the page allows you to access the available layers grouped under themes. Click the help button located in the top right corner and this will direct the user to a user guide. The magnifying glass icon on the top right opens up search tools. You can search by address stroke air code, county stroke town or coordinates. The tools menu on the left hand side replicates the search feature and also allows you to search for a specific water feature like a river or lake. You can also access tools for measurement and graphics that allow you to draw simple shapes and text on your map. This can be useful if you want to print a map with your own additions on it. I'll click the double chevron to close the tools menu and I'll click the X to close the graphic tools feature. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen you can access different base layers by hovering over the three dots or ellipses. This first choice represents the view you are currently looking at. I'll click on the top button to show the satellite imagery layer. You can also access additional buttons here. These allow you to print, zoom in, zoom out, or so you can see all of Ireland. Note the zoom to user location is currently disabled. Viewing data. Theme toolbar. Layers can be accessed from the theme toolbar. Hover over a theme, for example, status and risk. Click on the relevant categories. I'll choose WFD risk third cycle and then click on the desired layer within the theme to turn it on. I'll choose river water bodies risk. The slider will turn green. The information button beside the layer name will provide metadata information. Finally, we would like to show you how to filter a layer using viewing data, active layers. Notice on the side menu on the left hand side of the map how the active layers tab now has an icon with a number beside it. This means that there is one active layer on the map. This is the river water bodies risk layer. This shows the risk of any river water body not meeting its WFD environmental objectives. To turn off the layer and remove it from active layers, click the slider button off. Please note that some layers may only appear when you are zoomed in or zoomed out to a certain level. In that case, the on-off switch for these layers will appear greyed out in this active layers list. And to activate and view the data, you will need to zoom in or out to a different scale. Viewing data. Active layers. I'll turn this layer back on and the legend for a layer can be accessed by clicking the show advanced layer setting button, i.e. the cog icon. The legend will be displayed under the legend heading. This provides a description for the data on the map. The filter tool can then be used to show a subset of a dataset's features on the map. Click the filter icon in the active layers window. Drop down menus will appear so that the user can select the attribute to perform the query on. For example, from the select attribute box, I'll choose Projection. From the select operator box, I'll choose equal to. And in the search box, I'll type at risk. And please note that the text must be entered correctly. Click the add filter icon. And now only the at risk water bodies are shown on the map. To remove this filter, scroll down 
and click the Remove Filter icon. Viewing Data Theme Toolbar One of the most important layers is WFD Status. The most recent WFD Status data is for 2016 to 2021. Status is available for surface water bodies, rivers, lakes, transitional and coastal water bodies. The legend can be displayed for each layer by clicking on its cogwheel button. The status for surface water bodies can be high, blue, good, green, moderate, yellow, poor, brown, bad, red, or unassigned, white. Status is also available for groundwater. Click on Status and Risk and click on Groundwater. This can be good or poor. As you can see, it can be confusing to switch on and try and view surface water bodies and groundwater bodies at the same time. So any layer can be switched off at any time in the menu by sliding the slider to off. Tools Search Water feature The Search Water feature opens on the right hand side of the map. It provides the option to search for water bodies, subcatchments and catchments. Please note that local names for a river, lake or other water body may vary from their formal designated name. This is different to the search tools function which enables the user to search by address stroke air code, county stroke town or by coordinates and which is also accessed via the magnifying glass icon. Take in action. Some of the key layers are under the Take in Action tab. Stories, WFD areas for action, catchment projects, targeting agricultural measures. This includes stories. Each story shows you something done to improve water quality by groups and local communities. Clicking on any story opens the left sidebar allowing you to click on a link to that story on catchments.ie. WFD Areas for Action This shows areas where efforts and resources have been targeted to try and achieve water quality improvements under the River Basin Management Plan. You can zoom in, then click on any area for action using your mouse. This will open the menu on the left hand side of the screen. If you click on the down arrows, you will see information about this area for action, including area name, area type, lead authority, number of water bodies, start year, Progress Update, WFD Cycle, Link to PDF Report if available. Then click on the Zoom to Ireland button to bring the screen back to its original size. Catchment Projects You can also view catchment projects under Take in Action. Catchment projects are areas where there are already projects ongoing at catchment scale or where funding or plans are in place which will have benefits for water quality protection, stroke restoration during WFD Cycle 3. Clicking on any catchment project will select it and open it in the Active Layers menu on the left hand side. It will show you Name, Lead Organisation, Start Year, Progress, Number of Water Bodies, Link to Further Information where available. Targeting Agricultural Measures The final layer under Taking Action is Targeting Agricultural Measures. 
Agriculture is the most significant pressure on water quality in Ireland. Where actions are needed to improve water quality, this layer shows the actions that farmers can take. There are six flags to indicate the actions that can be taken. Navy flag. Phosphorus and sediment losses should be targeted. Navy and orange flag. Phosphorus sediment and nitrogen losses should be targeted. Orange flag. Nitrate losses. Red and navy flag. Point source and phosphorus stroke sediment losses. Red, orange and navy flag. Point source nitrate and phosphorus stroke sediment losses. White flag. In these areas, actions to protect water quality are recommended. More details are available on targeting agricultural measures, including the use of pollution impact potential maps, in our video specifically for farmers on this topic.